Hi, Tib Emerson of Kuan Yin Healing, out here at the close of a beautiful day with uh, our pony April, enjoying some grass here. You know, a lot of people, though, have trouble enjoying life for a number of reasons. Sometimes uh, physical things keep us behind. Sometimes emotional things keep us from progressing. Sometimes our mind is just so racing and so forth. And I watch people struggling with things that they just don't have to. Now, people aren't, um, aren't idiots. They've tried things, right? Um, they, they, they read books, they go to seminars, they try different modalities, they, they eat the right granola, right? They do yoga, tai chi, and, and yet uh, people still have trouble achieving the, the, the goals that they're looking to achieve in life, from creating the life they want to simply uh, getting through in a healthier state and, and in better health and happiness. So this is why I created The Healing Journey. The three primary things that usually stop people and the reason I want to get into this is I watch people go about things in, in ways that are, it's not that they're doing the wrong things, but it's not enough. It's part of the picture. You like building part of your car, okay? Uh, it, it won't run well if you don't have the entire engine there doing the things that it should. So the first problem we run into is, the, is uh, something is missing in the four pillars of the healing equation. And the four pillars are clarity, connection, coherence, and change. So often when people are looking at a solution like energy healing, they're looking primarily at uh, simply the connection, you know, zap me. Um, and, you know, that can work if by accident the other things are there. But um, what exactly are we looking for? You know, what exactly is the, is the problem we're facing precisely? What are the, all the aspects that go into it? Or we can be doing something um, very simple as simply treating symptoms without getting at root causes. So uh, really assessing the proper uh, problem, getting clarity about that. What kind of energy healing that we're doing? Um, this is kind of a, a long discussion for this short video, but you know, um, just as radio waves aren't the same as light, aren't the same as electricity, it, you know, the different kinds of energy healing are not the same. So a lot of the what people think of energy healing is a very localized, you know, um, um, getting just like uh, sending energy. But what about the energy that connects us all? What about the connection of energy that flows between you and I, between um, you and April and I, between these trees, among all this? And that um, circulatory system has an energy as well that is extremely strong and very powerful. It's what actually got me into this work. It's the basis of Kuan Yin healing. Um, then, then we have coherence. No matter how much energy we have, if we're dissipating it instead of focusing it, then we're not going to get uh, good results or consistent results or reliable results. And we, of course, we want all three of those things. So to do that, we have to know how to focus our energy and our efforts in a coherent way. It kind of works hand in glove with, uh, with clarity. And then the final one is change. And I, I, I watch a lot of people struggle with this, but if we want different things to happen, we're going to have to do different things. So we... The fact that we've tried all these different things and we keep trying different things, we, if we're not getting the kind of results we want, we're kind of going in circles here. And so we have to learn to start to do this in a better way. And that's what the healing journey is about. Look, looking at this in a much broader, uh, much more intense and much more in-depth way than is typically looked at when we look at uh, energy healing. And the way we think of energy healing is just because of getting zapped. The second problem that I see people struggle with is the physical-spiritual dichotomy. You know, um, and this, I've seen this work both ways. On the one hand, uh, oh, I, there's too much airy-fairy, new-agey stuff, and I just need to do something down um, practical and physical. And if it works, fantastic. And if it keeps working, fantastic. But the problem is often it isn't working. And then the same thing in the other direction. I've had it with this connection to the physical world and I need to turn to a complete spiritual solution and that will solve all my problems. And yet often it doesn't. And um, now connecting to, to these things is very, very powerful, no doubt. But again, the problem is getting them to work together. It's not an either or. It's kind of like trying to lift a heavy board from just one end and then that doesn't work. So we run around and try to lift it from just the other end. We need this balance. It's not an either or. So we need this comprehensive thing. And that's the third uh, thing that I see people struggling with. They will go from 
method to method to method to method, continually trying new things. And I applaud the, um, uh, the hope, the consistentness, the keeping going after it. But without some sort of idea of what we're doing, what's that about? You know, I recently read an article. Um, uh, it was a column um, by uh, Dr. Zorba Pastor, who does On Your Health for Public Radio International. And he, he was saying in, in uh, advising the, the person who had written in, uh, in, in his newspaper column, that because um, you might try chiropractic or massage or acupuncture at... Um, and, and he said, try at least six sessions before you decide whether it's working. And I'm like, okay, with all due respect, I mean, certainly those are fine practices, all three of them. But simply trying like something in six sessions to see if it works is just flat out admitting we really don't know. Or we're just kind of throwing spaghetti at the wall here. I've never been a fan of that kind. I really want to know why things work. And to know why things work, um, we need to have a very systematic um, thing. You know, my, my car mechanic doesn't turn a couple screws and then say, drive around and see if that helps, right? No, he does, you know, bumper to bumper diagnostics and uh, make sure everything is in working order first. And that's what the healing journey is designed to do. Kind of a bumper to bumper diagnostic, if you will. Um, starting off, first of all, with really getting in depth to the physical uh, world. We talked about our inner state manifesting our physical world, very rarely do we actually hold our feet to the fire about it. Is Am I looking at my outside physical world as a reflection of what's going on in me? And if I don't like what I see, am I looking at what the things are? That's one aspect. There's also the simple aspect that some of the things that we know, I hear this all the time, right? I bet you do too. You know, I know what to do, and yet if it's not happening, I would submit that actually know, or, or those things would be happening if we knew them or understood how important they are. Um, and then how this works with the emotional things. So many people are stuck at the emotional stage. Uh, when I asked uh, survey comments, I, you know, what kinds of things should I be covering in the healing journey? I got a lot of emotional responses. What do I do about this person? What do I do about these people at work? What do I do when my home situation is this? All these things that are, are you know, emotional problems um, kind of uh, reserved from the person. So how do we um, get past those things? How to resolve those things? A lot of our problems are thinking problems. You know, I'm trying to work with this, but my head is just racing. I'm just so overwhelmed that I just can't take on something else. And so people end up doing nothing. Okay? Or I really want that to be a, a spiritual experience, but I, I try things I don't know how. How can we do this so that it actually happens, so that we can feel the energy? Because we know how to do it. We've known how to do it for centuries, right? It just has never really been put together well in a comprehensive system. That's what to do in the, in the healing journey. And that's why I put together the healing journey. I'm simply watching people suffering with uh, a lack of health and a lack of happiness that they do not have to suffer with. And not because of some new mystical thing, but because all it takes is a systematic and thorough a guide through all of this, and then better health and happiness are possible now. I really want to get that ac message across and help people understand. You do not have to continue um, the way things are. People just kind of get used to it, I think, right? And then it's hard to move people forward. They're sort of resigned to their fate. That doesn't have to be the case. Truly, better health and happiness are possible now. That's why I put together the healing journey. And in the next video, I'm going to show you some things um, practical things, things you can start using right away. And we'll talk a little bit more about how the healing journey approaches that sort of uh, content as well. Okay? Better health and happiness coming to you soon. Also, be sure you download the free booklet, What You Need to Know Before Hiring a Healer, which covers different aspects of healing, what works, what doesn't work, why even common things don't work sometimes, but how you can make them work. Uh, how you can do self-healing, including some health self-healing tips right away. Uh, what are some of the pitfalls of self-healing and how you can avoid that and what steps you might take. Then pretty soon, you and me and April will be happy and healthy.